Steve, a wedding cake discrimination case is getting rejected by the Supreme Court. The case involves an Oregon cake shop that was fined $135,000 by the state after its Christian owners refused to make a wedding cake for a same-sex couple. The high court now ordering an appeals court back in the state of Oregon to reconsider the fine in light of its decision last year involving the Masterpiece Cake Shop in Colorado. Here to react is that Oregon cake maker, Melissa Klein, and senior counsel, Stephanie Taub. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. Yeah, thank so you. the Supreme Court sends this gay wedding cake dispute back to the state courts. Melissa, what was your reaction when you heard that? Um, my reaction actually was um, I, I felt really happy. Um, I felt like uh, at least it wasn't thrown out and I feel like we get um, basically another go at it and a second chance basically. Okay, so Stephanie, what happens next? Uh, so next, we'll go back to the Oregon Court of Appeals. The Supreme Court decided to take this case. They completely threw out the original opinion from the Oregon Court of Appeals, and we're going to go back and make sure that this case, that Melissa has a fair, a fair hearing, and we're going to be trying the issue of whether the Oregon Court of Appeal or the Oregon Administrative Agency here um, acted with religious hostility toward the Kleins. Uh, Melissa, you decided not to bake this cake. Tell us why and how that decision affected your life? Um, I mean it definitely it definitely affected our lives it was a very um, it wasn't a very easy decision at all to make um, we lost our business um, it's been six years now and it's definitely it's definitely taken a toll on our family and it's been very challenging was it worth it? it yeah and you ran this business with your husband? I did. How many kids do you have? We have five kids. Wow. How are you putting food on the table now? <laughs> um, well, my husband, he, he has a job, um, and I'm trying to uh, make little wooden signs on the side to help out, so just do what I can to, to help out. What's your business now? Tell us about it. Oh, <laughs> um, well, it's on my Facebook page, um, and it's basically just custom wood wall hangings that, you know, people, um, I do a lot of Bible verses, um, and people can, it's just on my Sweet Cakes by Melissa page. <laughs> okay, all right, sounds good. Now, Stephanie, what is your argument here? I mean, because the, the other side is going to say, um, you, you need to make a cake for us, you can't discriminate. What is your argument? So no one should be forced to express a message that they disagree with. And here we're going to be particularly looking at the question of whether the Oregon Bureau of Labor and Industries acted with religious hostility when they took a look at um, Aaron and Melissa's case. So here the Supreme Court in taking the case and sending it back down in light of Masterpiece made it clear that they're not going to tolerate any sort of religious, anti-religious hostility. And, and they're very clear that especially when it comes to state agencies who have frequently been been overstepping their bounds, that the court's going to step in and make sure that everyone is entitled to their fair day in court before a neutral and unbiased judge. So if anyone is interested in learning more about the case, they can go to firstliberty.org to show your support for Aaron and Melissa Klein. Okay, we did reach out to Rachel and Laurel, the ones that wanted you to make the cake, and we did not hear back from them. We would love to hear their side of the story, too. Melissa and Stephanie, thanks so much for being with us. Thank, Thank you. you.